All right, let's take a look at number 13. An expression is shown. 3x minus y is raised to the eighth power. It says, what is the fourth term in the expansion? And what is the coefficient of the x squared y6 term? What type of problem is this? It's an NCR. It's an NCR problem. Yeah, if you remember, there's going to be one of these. What you need to remember is this. With NCR, how many letters are in NCR? Now, why does that matter? That tells you how many parentheses you're going to put up. One, two, three. What are you going to fill in the first parenthesis with? Give you a hint. Look at the letters. N, what's, what's this? Comma, R. Okay, the R is the, the part I do last. What is N on this problem? It's the number of times you play the game. This is like gambling. It's the number of times you play. That's N. So N is eight. We can fill that in. We also know what C stands for. C stands for comma. I'm going to skip the R for a second. A lot of people think fourth term is an R. No, it's not. That's going to tell you how to find R. Okay, what's the second parentheses? It's the winning, which technically is 3x, but for the calculator, we're only going to type in a 3. Now, what about the losing? Instead of typing in a y, a negative y, we're going to type in negative 1. Negative 1 goes there. Okay, the only thing left is to find the r. To find r, you write out your power starting with 8 and counting down. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. You can just count them down, kind of like sigma, but opposite. Instead of counting up, we count down. You want the fourth number on there. Which one's fourth? Five. That tells you the number of wins. And that can be your R. Now, if you play eight times and you win five of them, how many times are left over to lose? Three goes there. Now, you could put a three or a five there. If you notice it, it will give you the same answer both times. So let me just copy this and rewrite it. And both of these will give you the exact same answer. If you type this in or... If you typed in a three here, both will give you the exact same answer. Because what this does is it calculates the odds of playing a game five, eight times and winning five, or this part would be playing eight times and winning three times. Notice, the, or excuse me, losing three times. The odds of winning five is exactly the same as odds of losing three. That's why that portion will give the same number either way. And this just does the, the winning portion, the losing portion. So both of those will give you the same answer. So go ahead and type those in for that answer. Where is NCR? It's the very bottom. Whoops. Functions, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see it. NCR, 8 comma 5, 3 to the fifth power, and negative 1 to the third power. Answer I'm getting is negative 13, 608. So if it says the negative 13, was it 608? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna include the powers in. How many X, X is winning? How many powers is, should X have? Five, and then Y was losing. How many losses do we have? Three. Three, there you go. That would be part A. Now what's different this time if it says, what's the coefficient of the X squared Y six term? What's the two and the six telling you? Uh, the wins and That's telling you wins and losses. So this time when you do your NCR, you don't have to count anything. This one should be easier. What was N? N hasn't changed. What is N? Eight. That's another, notice two plus six is eight. That's the number of times we play. R can be either wins or losses. You could do both. Which one do you want to do? Two or six here? Okay. That's the R. We're going to say R is two. That would be R. And that means the other one is always N minus R. That's just how it works. So if, N, if R is two, then eight minus two is six. So that works. Okay. The winning parenthesis was, what do we put for winning? Do I put three X in the calculator? I'm just going to put a three in the calculator to the second power. And then losing is negative one. And that goes six losses. Type that in and see what you get. And that'll be the answer there.
Two. I'm getting 252. Is that what you're getting? 252? All right, 252. All right, you have a DOL. This one, it says just coefficient. So coefficient means you don't have to include the power. When it says the fourth term, you would include the powers. Uh, but you don't have to worry about that. Test will be really easy. It'll be one or the other. All right, your turn. DOL in roulette. So now I'm applying it. A ball is spun into a spinning wheel with 38 different slots. If the wheel is perfectly balanced and fair, a spun ball is equally li likely to land on any of the slots. Which co uh, combination, that means which NCR, combination means NCR, would represent the odds of a player spinning three balls and one bat landing on the fifth slot? Okay, with NCR, what do I want you to think of when you write NCR? How many letters are there? Three, why does that matter? Three parentheses. What does N always represent? The number of something. In this case, in gambling, it's the number of times you play. How many times do we play? Three times, we play three times. That eliminates two answer choices. We're playing three times. So if we spun three balls, how many do we need to win? R is winning. We need to win how many? Just one. So, uh, okay, the odds of winning. What's the odds of a ball landing in the fifth slot? How many slots are there? 38 slots. How many can it land in for you to be a winner? Can it land in five slots? Or is it, you tell me, can it land in five slots to be a winner? What does it say? The fifth slot. So how many slots are actually winning slots? One. one. So it'd be one divided by 38. How many losing slots would you have? Seven. Seven out of 38. How many times do you need to win? One. One, how many times can we lose then? Two, that would be our formula. Which answer choice is that? Oops, this one. So why, oh, why did I put a seven? Y'all are one and the same thing. You're supposed, if the odds of winning is one out of 38, how many can you lose? 37, uh, 37 out of 38, there you go. That's what I need there. Okay. And that's how you do that problem. I was like, wait, that matters. Oh. Does that make sense how you'd apply it? That's how it worked. All right. Let's take a look at, we're down to our very end. Here it says the number of computers 